I am going to go ahead and make a hinge, something with three parts that all have to fit together. Starting out with a rectangle going from 0, 0 to 1.875 and 3.5. And I am going to extrude this. a distance of, and this is a little bit of a strange dimension. It fits some sheet metal. Notice I'm not typing in a decimal. I'm actually using a fraction. AutoCAD will use a fraction for this. So I've just extruded this guy a 5 64ths of an inch. Okay, this next part I'm going to add in where my little pin goes. And to do that, I need to move my user coordinate system. Now I'm going to turn on my orthographic snap for this to make sure that this is oriented correctly. And remember, it likes to draw on the XY plane. So I now have the XY plane on the corner here, which is going to allow me to draw a circle. For this one, I'm going to put the center of the circle on this extrusion, and I'm actually going to define the diameter. So I'm going to hit D and give it a diameter of a quarter of an inch, 0.25. I'm going to then offset this the same distance of the extrusion, which was 5 divided by 64. And make sure to pull this out, not in, but out. And I'm going to use Escape, escape, press, pull. Grabbing not on the line, but in between those two lines. And I'm going to pull that hinge all the way to the back. Escape, escape, starting up that press, pull again. I'm now going to erase this little insert into here. So be very careful how you select this, that I'm trying to get just this little end piece there. I think that's got it. And if you're subtracting it out, you can kind of overshoot that a little bit. If you're pushing it into an object, it will subtract it out versus if it's not getting pushed into something, it will make a solid. Okay, so I've got two different pieces here. I'll go ahead and use the union command. Add those together. And we've got the first part of our hinge. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, this is going to eventually be two halves of it kind of a stair step. So I'm going to carve out a little piece of this. To do that, I'm going to move my user coordinate system back to the world view. So W, or just hit enter. And what I want to do is actually bump that XY plane down a little bit underneath the hinge. So that was, let's see, 0.25 plus 5 64ths. I don't know. I'll move it down. So I'm going to say user coordinate system. And the new coordinate is going to be 0, 0, 0, negative. Let's see. The diameter was 25. So that's overshooting it a little bit, but that's what I want. I'm going to just be underneath it. Now make sure your orthographic snap is 
turned on for this because otherwise you're not going to be sitting flat on here. Okay, from the front view, let me turn this around and change it over here to 2D wireframe. I'm going to create some rectangles to carve out part of this chin. So these are points I figured out in Excel. Sometimes it's good to go back to that Excel and figure out dimensions. So I'm going to carve that chunk out. Enter pulls up the previous rectangle command, and here comes the next one. So there's the first corner. There's the second corner. Enter rectangle. And let's go ahead and carve these guys out. I'm going to use press pull and make sure that you're grabbing these guys. Right here, M allows me to grab multiple objects all at the same time. So I'm going to get all of these. Enter. Now that I have them all selected, I'll go ahead and pull them way up high, overshooting this. And it looks like we'll have to subtract these guys out. So for the subtract command, you want to select the object you want to keep, hit enter, and then you can click, click everything you want to get rid of, enter. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move the coordinate system back to world and let's have a have a look at everything. Just a couple more details now that my XY plane is on the base here. We need some way to attach it to the door frame. So looking down from above and again I've figured out these coordinates in Excel ahead of time. So I'm going to create a couple circles. The first one has a center of 0.35 and 1.75. And we're going to make the radius of this guy 5 30 seconds of an inch. The next one, hit enter to bring up that circle command again. I'm going to put this one at 135. And I can hit enter. That's the same radius as I used before. Enter circle, this time 1 and 3.15. And the same radius again. That's nice how it brings up those previous dimensions. Let's go ahead and press pull these guys out. So selecting object. Right now I think these circles, yeah, make sure you're at the right side of this to, to grab them. M for multiple. Enter. And looks like we'll have to subtract these guys out of here. But you want to keep the enter. And what you want to get rid of. Okay. Last. Let's do a little 
fillets edge and maybe I'll make that radius let's see before we use 530 seconds so I might as well use that and I'm just going to carve out this corner just a little bit one more fillet edge and this time I'm going to do just a very slight radius and we'll call that done. So given something like this, could you create the other half and then maybe put a few dimensions on it, put some tolerances on it. So we have a running sliding. We can look at what kind of fit we would like for this hinge. This will be a good practice. Make sure you have your title block up that you can create various different views in here, some sectional view or an auxiliary view. I'm going to give myself lots of room in here for dimensions and tolerance notes. Okay, let me know if you have questions.